What's up friends? Welcome on Travels Code channel. In this video we will solve the next problem from lead code. It's problem number 9, polyndrome number. So what is a polyndrome number? It's an integer when it reads the same backward and forward. For example, 1 to 1. For example, this one. So how you can solve it? It's pretty easy but very popular task on different interviews. How we can solve it? There are a few different options. The first one, the easiest one, but we skip it. It's convert this number to string, revert this string and just compare with this number or string of this number. So we will skip this one. We will use another approach. We already used this approach when we solved the task about um, return reversed, reversed integer. So. Yes, a reverse integer task number 7. In task number 7 we returned a number, but in this one we need to return a boolean variable, true or false. So let's do it. So we need to implement the same task. So let's create a back revert. Then for let i we assign x while we have i and uh, i assign math trunk math trunk i divide 10 so we will have a last part of dividing then Revert, assign revert, multiply 10 plus, in this case, divide I 10. So we'll have a left part of dividing, for example. Uh, 121 divided by 10, it's mod, it seems. We will have 1, then 12 divided or mod 10, we will have 2, and in this case we will get a reverse number. So, and we need to return x the same as the revert. Let's run it. Okay, it works. So we compared. Now it works for this number, and we need. Uh, what do we have? We have corner cases with uh, minus negative numbers. And if it starts from zero, reverted one. So let's cover these cases. If x is less zero, return false. Over the second case, in case we x mod 10 and uh, it's, we can say this case, if it's 0, we need uh, return false. Submit and uh, we will have one more corner case and it's for 0. Because of x, let's check x mod. Okay, zero. It's zero. So we compare that zero mod ten. We will have zero revert it and it will be true and in this case we will return false but for zero we need true because of its polyndrome as well because of we can read zero backward and forward so we need to just add uh, and uh, x it's not zero 
So let's submit. We forgot this one. Except so it works. It's pretty easy solution. So all these solutions you can find on my GitHub. So let's just open GitHub and uh, here you will find everything what you need. Uh, reverse integer. It was number seven for number nine. You will have this solution. So thank you for watching and good luck.